In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph residual plots using the TI-84 plus CE calculator. Now, in the previous video, we created a couple of lists that showed a linear kind of relationship between two variables. I can have a look at those lists by hitting the stat button and going to the edit. And I can see my two lists in here. What I found in the last video was the relationship, the linear regression relationship, was y equals 108x plus 325. So what I first need to do is to create a list in the list 3 here of substituting these x values into that formula. Now to do that, I highlight list 3 by moving my cursor to the top of list 3. And what I'm wanting to do is to put that equation in, but instead of using x, replace x with list 1. So my equation is 108 multiplied by my x value, which in this case is list 1. To do that, you see list in the blue here, so you hit second, then list, and you select list 1. And you close that bracket. Then I need to add 325. So plus 325. When I hit the enter, that will automatically create a list where it substituted this x value into uh, the list 3 in here. So now I need to create my residual values. And I'm going to do that in list 4. To create these values, I need to take the uh, expected or predicted value that I've just done in list 3 here away from the list 2 value, which was the observed value. To do that, I move my cursor so it's highlighting the top of list 4. And what I want to put in here is list 2 subtract list 3. So that second stat button and go to list 2, subtract list 3. And then I simply hit the enter value and it will give me my residual values now presented here in list 4. Now to graph this, I'll need to graph my x values, which are present in list 1 here, with my y values, which are my residual values here, which are in list 4. Now previously, the sort of graph that I was graphing was list 1 with list 2. So I need to change this. To change it, I go to second and stat plot. And you'll notice here that I've still got this first plot one active. I may not want to choose to change the list one and list two that this is currently graphing. Instead, I may want to choose to turn it off. So I press enter to go in here and I highlight the off and press enter. Now I go to plot two. So moving the cursor up until it's on plot two and hit enter. And I'm going to tell it that I'm going to graph a different plot using this plot. So I turn this one on. Still want a scatter plot graph. My X list is list one. And I've already changed my Y list from something I was doing earlier to list four. But my residual values are my Y values, which are present in list four. If you need to change that, you go to second list and you go to list four like that. Now you've done that. If you hit the graph button, you'll get something that looks like this, assuming you had the view window that I had previously. Now, I'm going to need to change my view window to better fit the residual values that I've got. So, let's have a look at those. If I press the stat button and go back to my editing the lists, my residual values I can see range from positive 65 through to negative 47. So, if I did positive 70, through negative 70, that'll capture all of the residual values. So to change my window, I go to window, my x values are still fine, so let's change my y values now to negative 70 as my minimum, my maximum of 70, and for a scale, I'm going to use 10 here. So let's graph that and have a look at what it looks like. So now you can see here, I've got the residual graph of these values here. And they do seem to be in a bit of a pattern, which might suggest that this might not be a perfect linear relationship that's occurring between these two variables. But we'll talk about that in a future video. 
For now, this is how we create a residual graph using the TI-84 plus CE calculator. 